All right, now I get to play passenger. I don't like being a passenger. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is a different adventure. So we're just gonna creep out of here. Oh, turn it off, it's so shallow. The, um, we went to try and launch at Crystal Beach. It was absolutely packed, all the fishing boats were out. There wasn't a space, so we managed to get a free space here at Poverty Bay, but you have to get here early. Uh, and it is free, and it's, only, it's really only suitable for small boats and uh, uh, personal watercrafts. You can't really launch a, a, a deep uh, hull vessel here at all. So anyway, we're just gonna crawl on out. And I'm gonna get some suntan lotion on. And then we're going to make our way down towards Buffalo. It's currently about, I think I've just read 20 degrees. It's going up to 27, 28, depending where we are on the river. Very light northeasterly winds. In fact, there's no wind at the moment, but it is forecast for a very light northeasterly winds today, which will make it really, really nice for a ride. Kayakers out this morning, people fishing. It's going to be a busy day on the water today. Uh, as we drove through Crystal Beach, uh, the beach was already pretty full at uh, 9.30 this morning. So it's going to be a busy time on the water. Hey, hey. we got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> I know, I've still got mine on the go. Oh, hello. Yes. Get going. Ma massage, please. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the water. It's beautiful today. Stunning. Right, just going to drink our coffees and uh, and then we'll head out down that way. As I said, uh, he's doing the adventure today. I'm just tagging along filming us lot, having a bit of fun. And he's going to be uh, doing the video for the adventure of where we're going. Buffalo up to Chippewa. That's Crystal Beach just there. Uh, that's where we would have launched from the boat ramp here at Crystal Beach. But we launched all the way from back down there. Uh, Buffalo is directly ahead of us as we head east. ships but I see two ships ahead of me just in the harbor here now it looks like we got one ship unloading uh, looks like salt or some kind of grain it looks like salt uh, salt or sand and behind it the uh, other ship it looks like he's got loads of piping on it so uh, some stuff is being dropped off there as I said last time I came down here and all this was here it was empty Right, we just come off Lake Erie, and now we, uh, we're entering uh, the Buffalo River. And that's as much as I'm going to tell you, because we've done this before, so we're just going to enjoy the ride today. Oh, 
hardly a breeze on that flag that a little flag over there you see that little flag hardly a breeze on that oh my god it's mark forrest it sure is that youtuber it's rare you know it's the first time i've actually seen mark with someone on his sea do don't want to disturb him he's filming <laughs> look they're doing some pointing that means it's serious when you point at things it means you're serious it's what youtubers do we like to point <laughs> that massage is going again let's go wait for the uh, queen city bike ferry to come past he has a right away commercial vessels always have the right away It's actually a really, really nice ride down here. Uh, a lot warmer than last time I was here, just over about a month ago. Uh, doing the river, that is. Uh, really nice. She's a grand lady. The boat, that is. It's called the Grand Lady. Yeah, looks like you have breakfast in there and everything. I can smell the suntan lotion. She's spraying on. Hi, right, morning. Ain't it cool to see stuff like this though? I like flowers, you know. Flowers? You buy all this fancy shit for yourself. <laughs> See, you listen, we, we go out with a couples, it, it all kicks off, it's fun. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to witness something. Mark's got his new drone, and there's someone else on YouTube we had seen who flew his new drone, and it ended up underwater. So uh, Mark's got a brand new drone, it's its inaugural flight, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. So he's got the new DJI, still 249 grams, comes with all the sensors. Oh, there it is. Oh, it is quieter. That is so quiet. Up, down, up, up. Oh, there he goes. The man with his new toy. But he's got to go buy some flowers on the way home, apparently. <laughs> it's so quiet, we can't even hear it. All right. We have no idea where it went. But he knows. I'm way back over the other river now. Oh, wow. The range on, oh, the smoothness. Basically, you're getting a look at behind the scenes of how we make YouTube videos. Kind of. <laughs> so I'm just sighing, and I kept hearing some guy whistle. And I'm looking around, it's very faint, but un underneath the boat, there's actually a kayaker, and the guy's just sat there whistling away. <laughs> kind of freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, we're still waiting for Mark's drone to come back. Oh, it's right by the ship. Oh, I see his swallows. So Mark's drone has made it back safely from its maiden voyage. I can't wait to see the footage. Yeah, I'm looking forward for the footage. Uh, links to Mark's video, of course, will be put in uh, my channel and also on my video. Oh, it's going back. But uh, I've not mastered that bit yet. It's actually riding my sea doo and getting the drone shot at the same time. Mind you, I've not had much practice on my drone recently because every time I try and take my drone out, it's blowing a bloody gale on Lake Erie. All right, Mark's attempted to catch the drone. He's just uh, missed it the first time. So uh, we may have some action here. <laughs> Those sensors are really, really good on it. He can... Oh! 
I see it's got no legs to catch. Yay! Success! Now the problem with that drone is he doesn't have the little legs to grab hold of. So it was a little harder. <laughs> oh, what a cute couple. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm about to my <laughs> <laughs> America has so much to see and view, the old factories, the old silos, the new apartments, and the pot bellies. An old glory. Look at that belly, that is a masterpiece. That would put most British men to shame, that pot belly. I mean, Brits are well known for beer bellies, but that was a good gut. He's drank a few. Oh, by the way, I'm being sarcastic. Don't want anyone to take offense. What's cool about riding down here or riding back up the river is all the kayaks coming towards you. It's such an active uh, river. There's so much going on. Uh, kayaks, uh, these bicycle things, these, these like little boats here. It's like, it's, 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 a, it's a happening place. Look how busy it is now. Like, it's like everywhere is stuff on the water. These Bicycles on floats, there's boats coming down. A couple more jet skis have just been there. We saw them as we came down there at the bar having a quick drink and now they're heading back out. You have an opportunity to bring your sea dew jet ski down to uh, this part of uh, Lake Erie. Make sure you come over to Buffalo. Um, if you're Canadian, like I said earlier on, on one of my previous videos, as long as you do not uh, anchor up, moor up, or set foot on land, you do not have to uh, do the CBP row map. You, you, you can just come on over. Nice catamaran here, doing tours. Oh, uh, yeah, I wonder. It's got a bar, all the alcohol there. I guess it doesn't go out fast, because you can kick up on that. He's heading out. Open water, right ahead of us is Fort Erie, Waverley, and uh, further up Ridgeway, Crystal Beach. But right now, we're gonna be uh, making our way down the Niagara River and up towards uh, Chippewa. So we'll be uh, going a little bit faster now. Get out of this heat and uh, go to Tim Hortons and grab a bite to eat. All right, heading out to the Niagara River. Here we go.
doomed as well now. Oh, uh, oh, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's brutal back here, mate. <laughs> I, I want to be in charge again. <laughs> I don't like being a passenger, but That's things you got to do because women rule, right? Great. Yep. Right here we are, Niagara Falls. Entrance to Chippewa, right there. I never noticed that before. If you go past the uh, buoys there, the fine's only 200 bucks. I thought it'd be a massive fine to do something like that. I just stopped here at uh, Chippewa. Diane's going to use the facilities, grab, myself, grab me a coffee. Mark and Sarah carried on down the uh, Welland River and they're going to meet us back here shortly. So we're just going to take a bit of a break before we head back. That sun is super strong, so we have to find some shade. Come on. We found some. Why we wait for Mark? Uh, the docks are really pain, big pain in the ass to moor up here. You can see the massive gap. So if you actually go level with it, every time a wake comes, you, you see you do good right underneath it and it gets damaged, so you kind of have to let it drift a bit. So, right now, it's perfectly fine. Hey, up, Mark's back. He's uh, just putting uh, 20 litres of fuel in his uh, sea -Doo. Mark's just topping up. Things you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, it's better than uh, running out and just drifting home or to the rocks. It's all, yeah, we got go, we're going back against the current. So this is what Chippewa is good for. If people come here with the floaties, just launch and they float all the way down the river, all the way down there. Then you're gonna walk back. Or you walk up with this thing and have to leave your car down there. Someone to drop you off down that end and then bring your car down there. Someone that doesn't like fun. It's yeah. in the Yeah. Alright, quick break over and done with. Now we're going to head back to Crystal Beach. I just checked, it's 28 degrees right now. But the UV is so high. Burning. Such a dangerous place to swim, right here. But this is where they all jump off. Right in the entrance of the, uh, the area. Made the water's lower than it was this morning. Really? Yeah, it's much lower. Yeah. 
it is shallower than what it was this morning. <laughs> Gee, she look can up, you it. can see how much she's gone down. Holy moly. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, when we left, the water was a bit deeper, but it's about seven inches shallower now than it was when we left this morning. So uh, we kind of had to walk it in. So anyway, I'm out. Mark's just going to get his vehicle and uh, we'll get it on and get out of here. See, Mark brings extra gas and what he doesn't use on the Sea-Doo, puts in his car. Hi, Mark. Good ride, by the way. Yes, sir. Good to and uh, I'm sure I'll bump into you somewhere in Ontario. As we always do. As we always do. Yes. It's not as though we have a plan these things. I mean, no. it just shows up. Don't give all the secrets away. <laughs> well, I'm in Toronto in a week's time, so maybe I'll see you up there. <laughs> all right, now I'm back home. Airing it out. Seat just slightly off, get the heat out. Look at that. That coffee spray. And on the other side, I got put my nice cap spray, so gonna give it a wash so anyway until the next video the next adventure wherever it may be stay safe see you all soon and don't forget to check out Mark's channel